Hey guys, so today what we're doing is we're actually going to be upgrading Tails from Disk. Now normally you can use apt upgrade command on your Tails install and upgrade, but there are certain times where you can't actually do that. And with major upgrades like these, you'll have to actually re-download the Tails image burn it to an additional disk, and then you can upgrade from there. And so that's what I'm going to be walking through today. And in fact, you can follow this as a simple way to download and install Tails safely as well. Check out my other video for more details on setting up encrypted persistence where you can customize your Tails settings. Today we're just going to be downloading the image, and after which we're going to verify and ensure that the integrity is cryptographically secure and that way we can make sure that our image that we burn has not been modified in any means from the original content so the first thing you're going to want to do is download your tails image and once you've done that tails website actually offers a really easy way to verify the image that you actually have downloaded. So downloading Tails is simply clicking on this will do that for you, save it to a disk. Then you can verify the integrity of your download by selecting your download here. Afterwards, we add it to this right here, Tails image. We go to open. And what it does is it actually checks the image you downloaded for you. And that's one way to do it. You can also use PGP to check the developer's signatures with the signed image. And you can then verify the integrity that way as well. So this is a much more simple way for people who don't know how to use PGP. Check out some of my videos on PGP. I show you how you can do all of this easily inside an easy to use GUI interface called GPA, GNU Privacy Assistant. I also go over how to uh, verify PGP signed images as well in that. But you can also on Tails, you can use this simple verifier. So this is what we're doing today. I'm going through the easy process for you. Nothing new to learn today, just going through the right processes. Now what I need to do while it's doing that, let's go ahead and check my USB stick. At this point, you should have inserted a blank USB stick. This is what we're going to burn or flash our Tails image onto. Now, for me, I know mine is a 32 gigabyte, or in this case, 28.7 gigabytes on this. So it would be this block device. And what that means is it'll be in this location slash DEV slash SDB. Now we need to get into my downloads directory. That's where I have it. So if you're on the command line, you want to follow along with me here, go ahead and check your verification first has been successful. And once you have gone through that process, go ahead and open your terminal, go to the location where you downloaded the tails image. And we're going to use a simple command. We've figured out that slash dev slash sdb is our actual location by using the lsblk we can see all of our devices that are hooked up storage devices and so what we're going to do is we're going to utilize the dd command now we're going to need to use sudo for this then if equals and then we'll do tails if is input file for tails and at this point we can simply then the of equals will be the location that we're actually flashing it to. In our case, it is slash DEV slash SDB. Then we can add a couple options like this. Status equals progress for the progress. And then once we have verified that we are using the correct IF equals and output file equals, we're going to then press enter. But first, 
do make sure that you are not writing to the wrong location because you could overwrite the wrong disk and that could cause you some real problems. So once you've val validated that all of this is correct, go ahead and press the enter key and what we'll be doing is burning a second copy of Tails. Now that we have flashed a new Tails disk, which you could then use to customize a brand new start, but in our case we're going to be using it to upgrade. So once you have copied Tails to your blank USB stick, we're going to then boot into that new flashed USB stick and you can actually follow along on the Tails website to get some tips on how to boot into that. For many laptops it'll be F1, F2, or F12 when you first boot up and it'll take you into the boot list. You can change the priorities using keys like F6 to move up different drives. In our case we're going to want to move USB to the very top of our boot menu depending on your brand. And you can get some tips right here on the Tails website on what keys can bring you into that BIOS setup where you can change the boot order. And once you've done that, save, reboot, and we're going to go into Tails. And at this point, we can then go right into, through all the Tails setup, and do the upgrade to our older Tails system by booting on our newer flashed Tails disk and then going into the Tails installer and using the upgrade command as we see right here. And that's what I'll be doing next. Okay, so now we are booted into the freshly flashed Tails USB stick. I've also plugged in my other USB stick which I can upgrade using the Tails installer. So what we're going to be doing is opening here I'm using cloning the current tails and my actual USB stick that I'm going to be upgrading is selected here as the target USB stick. So this is my old tails installed USB stick. I'm currently running on the newest tails operating system and at this point all I have to do is hit the upgrade and I'll be upgrading my old Tails disk to the new. This way I can retain all of my saved persistent storage and all of my important files and I don't lose anything but I upgrade to the very latest and safest Tails operating system. So let's go ahead and start. And what's nice about this is you can take your newest flashed plain Tails disk and use that for an amnesic disk where you can boot into it anytime you want to do something that has zero memory of the activities on it. So say for example your actual disk that's being upgraded, your old Tails disk, has your persistent storage. You may want to take that when you go to locations to safely transport journalistic work or other things. And then you may need to do research and you may not want to store anything in certain areas of the world where you may just want to have that zero knowledge, zero memory, fully amnesic disk. So you can have one that has a persistent storage and you can have a secondary Tails disk that has nothing at all that's ever saved to it. So it's like a fresh run every single time you boot into it and there is no forensically linked information showing what activity is done on that particular Tails disk. So you might want to have two Tails disks and you can always retain both that way you can easily upgrade in the future if a time comes where you're not able to upgrade through the normal apt command means. Alright, looks like we have completed our Tails upgrade. And so at this point we have two disks. We have our old Tails install disk which has now been fully upgraded to the latest and greatest Tails operating system. And we also have a plain Tails USB stick that we use to clone to make that upgrade possible. We can choose to overwrite that 
plain tails disc or we can use it as a fully amnesic tail system whenever we want something that will completely forget all activity on the tails disc when running it and then we can have our upgraded disc that has the persistent storage system that's going to remember and retain all our important files in an encrypted volume and that way we can transport our work with us wherever we go that's what I have today, guys. Make sure to check out the blog at buymeacoffee.com slash politictech. You can see all of the tutorials there that are searchable by title and also organized by category. So if you want to find out some of these tutorials that aren't in video format, check out the latest Thunderbird PGP tutorial with Onion Mail setup. I went through a three-part series there from signing up and getting a new Onion Mail account, which uses Tor hidden service mail servers that are federated and also can utilize the normal clearnet internet for emails as well. Very interesting system. Check those tutorials out. Check out everything else. And if you want to support this, go to buymeacoffee.com slash politictech and there is a list of options there if you'd like. And otherwise, make sure to share this video. It's one of the best ways to support this and help it continue. And I appreciate all my followers. Thanks for following. And I will see you later. And we will talk more about how to protect your privacy.